Hi everybody, for this week's SEL Tip of the Week, we are going to be exploring the Panorama Playbook. So as a reminder, Panorama is our resource for when we do our social and emotional learning survey for our learners, but there's also a tool inside that's called the Playbook. And what the Playbook is, is a big hub of resources and SEL lessons. So let's take a look. So how you get there is you're going to go to panoramaed.com and then you're going to click sign in. When you sign in, you're going to use the sign in with Google button. Do not type your name up here. It directly links here with your Google. Once you're logged on, your screen will look a little bit different than mine because mine is at the district level, but yours will have your class specific information, which that will also allow you to discover what skills you want to teach your learners after the SEL survey is given to students, but you can still access the playbook now. There are two different ways to get to the playbook. The first way is up here in the upper right hand corner or down here. Either way takes you to the same place. And as it's loading, it's going to give you this screen here. There are different categories that you can choose from to help determine what SEL lesson you'd like to explore. You also have different um, partnerships that Panorama has, like Teaching Tolerance, Second Step, Conscious Discipline, up at the top. You also have up at the top called My Playbook, and that's where you will save your own um, lessons that you find here, and you can easily access them at a later time. So let's take a look. I'm just going to click, let's see, we'll do Better Kids, but just so you can see, um, we have uh, Open Circle is on here, Breathe for Change, which I have to give them a little shout out for those of you who know that's where I got my yoga certification from, um, Inspired or Inspire Ed. So let's take a look at Better Kids. When you um, come into a category here, you'll notice a featured lesson your highest rated lessons, and then the newest lessons. So there are a lot of different choices you can explore. So the good news is, is there are a lot of lessons. The sad news is, is there's not actually a search button. And that's why it's very important to know that you have your own playbook that you can save so you can easily find the lessons you enjoyed um, at a later time. So let's go ahead and I'm going to click this very first lesson here for community building activities for back to school. So each of the um, lessons are formatted uh, around the, uh, about the same way. So we have a goal, how the lesson can be, and basically a reflection of the lesson. This one you can download the 14 activities. I have already saved this to my playbook, but you would click this star or unclick it, right? So if I click it, it is now in my playbook. So to get to my playbook, I come up to the top and this is going to show me all of the different lessons that I have starred for my playbook. You can find them um, at a later time and by clicking like the title and it will reorganize them so you can find your title. That way, if you remember what it's called, you can sort it by topic, you can sort it by author. Um, there's just a lot of different ways for you to access the different lessons. So I hope this is helpful as you explore your playbook and create your own playbook. And feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I'm always here to help. Have a great week.